So there has to be a system, there has to be a way that we can uncondition, unclutch from these old patterns. And the way to do it is discovering ways of raising your vibrations to a higher frequency by recognizing that these stuff they're also stored in the cellular memory of you. And if we can't replace it, get rid of it, no matter how much therapy we do, it's always there. So as we work on this to get rid of it, we're cultivating the seed of the Master. We're nurturing that, which is you're doing it right now. You're at this phase in your life that you're nurturing the seed. But it's very important to create the right environment for you. The environment is very important when you're trying to awaken, especially close to the last stages of awakening you have to be in a very protected environment that it's con conducing into your growth, that it's supporting your growth, that's not distracting you or poisoning your growth. Just like when they, cl they create greenhouses, the temperature has to be right, humanity humidity has to be right the plants they need nurturing nourishment right fertilizers not overdoing it not underdoing it so they can come to their full potential and this is what we're going to be doing at the self awakening mastery creating the environment so this can grow, this can blossom, this can come out, because it's close, it's ready. But if we take this plant with this seed and take it to Siberia, or take it somewhere that the temperature drops to 15 degrees below, it's immediately destroyed. That's why I emphasize so much, repeatedly, asking you to disconnect yourself from the world, from the news, from the poison, because it's poisoning your mind, it's activ activating your mind. That's why it's important that you take time to be by yourself, go to the nature, Keep the company of the wise. By coming to communities like this, that is supporting your spiritual growth, its, it's intention is on that. By being with people who are supporting your movement. They're supporting your work. They're not distracting you. Meditation. Take time and be quiet. The sadvic ways or with your food. All of these things are important. You're bringing awareness in different parts of your life. You're breaking habits and patterns that are not helping you and supporting you. Again, I'm not dogmatic about things. You know that. But all of these areas are important. 
not drinking too much alcohol or not using too much drugs or not eating really bad food, paying attention so the body is clear, the mind is clear, So you can continue supporting your work because we're close. We didn't come all the way to this point to drop the ball when we're very close. The right teachings, the right teacher, the right practice. Because as you get closer, things get a lot more sensitive sensitivity comes you can you know it you're very sensitive to a lot of things you're sensitive when you go to crowds you're sensitive when the music is off and loud you're sensitive to the energies you're awakening that's why you're sensitive that's that's a good sign your sensitivity, awakening to sensitivity, is an indication that you're on the right path and you're very close. But you have to create and protect your the cause and create the right environment. And we're going to talk about that in Self-Awakening Mastery. And I'll share with you what needs to be done. What do you have to do? Because it's a smaller group and I have time and I can talk to you and give you attention and listen to what you have to say. What are you struggling with? So we can help you. And a big part of it is commitment. Committing to to the path. But commitment is only one part of it, my brothers and sisters. Commitment is one part consistently, con being consistent and steady is another part. Because commitment by itself cannot succeed if you're not consistent. Because you're going to get you're going to hit bumps on your way. That's a part of the journey. So you get bumped out. Fine. Jump back on the horse and keep going. You don't, don't get discouraged. Well, I felt, you know, I, I got distracted and, you know, I got back into my drinking habits. It's okay. Come back again. Get back on the path. That's fine. Oh, I got distracted with this man or whatever, or somebody passed away or something happened. It's okay. Come back. Just keep keep going. Keep doing. Keep. Be quiet. Be silent. Oh, I lost it the other day. I reacted to this person and I got in a fight over a parking spot because... They took my parking spot and I lost it. That's okay. It's fine. Come back. Come back and do the work. It's fine. These are bumps you're going to hit on the road. You're not the only one. Everybody goes through it. Just be consistent. Show up. Come back. You forget about things? Come back to the academy. That's why we're doing the Academy consistently every Wednesday. Because I know what it's like. You deviate. That's the nature of the mind. I've done it. I know it. I know. I know my own weaknesses. I know my shortcomings. I know where I get tempted and I go stray away. It's okay. It's the nature of the mind. Come back into the academy or bring you back here, or put you back there. That's the goal. That's why we're sannyasins. That's why we are the lovers of the truth, 